is that Friday night down in Rio Town, the uh, Women's Center of Greater Lansing is hosting its 10th annual, which is really a, a decade-long experience here. They do the She Laughs Comedy Special here in the community, and we have three of the comedians who have been... Uh, I'm moving away from the microphone so nobody can hear me. Bill, you're going to have to pick up for me here while I get the camera set. We are being joined by Christine Sayers and Kathy Dunbar and Stephanie Herchert Walton, who's not related to either the Walton family that says goodnight John Boy or the one that controls Walmart, to the best of my knowledge, neither one of those. Okay. Correct. Correct, okay. She wishes um, she was. She wishes she was. No. Um, Only John Boy. <laughs> Only John Boy. Only that John wouldn't Boy. Be too bad. <laughs> But um, all three of you have appeared on, on many, in many occasions, numerous uh, shows for the She Laughs Comedy Special. Kathy, tell me a little bit about the history of this whole aggregation and how it got started and it, how you got involved. We, um, I met Cindy Allwood, who is one of the, a director at the Women's Center, the director of the Women's Center, before the Women's Center was actually open. We were hanging out at Magdalena's, which um, the tea shop. The tea shop. The vegan, crunchy, raw food, hippie heaven. Which I always loved. And it was fantastic. It. Yes, it and they was. would have live performances there and they would do lots of things. So um, one of the nights I performed there and then I was a judge for a comedy show there. And Cindy and I started talking because at that time I was running for office. Somebody had done some background research on me and found under my maiden name that I was a stand-up comic. Um, since All the way was, since college, right? Since 19. Wow. Yeah, since I was 19. And I mean, took off years while having children because although they provide a lot of material, there's no time to drag four <laughs> kids under five to like, you know, Pawtucky or wherever you're going to perform. So, um, but yeah, we started talking about that and we decided it might be an interesting fundraiser. For the Women's Center. I don't know of another Women's Center that uses comedy like that as a fundraiser. It's kind of risky and it's kind of fun, I think. I think it's a great way to... They have a great audience. Uh -huh. Their their audience is progressive, so you can do material that you... I've been I, Sometimes I've been called the John, like a female John Stewart before Rachel Maddow was on TV. Um, not that I'm in any way comparing myself to either one, but I do a lot of political humor. I do a lot of raunchy humor. I do a lot of uh, LGBT focused humor and their audience is open to it so I never had to worry about any censoring I didn't have to worry I mean I, I judge my audience and I can I, I'll usually most often accommodate the <laughs> your mom I can't touch your mom. Yeah, we also warn the audience yeah we warn them, them. Warn them. the warn yeah. the audience that Kathy's show is more R plus rated it's kind of NC-17 so <laughs> some of ours I like more but that's PG comedy. Yes, yeah. but we need, comedy. To, we need to allow, because we don't want my mom to have a protest. <laughs> no, we don't want her to have corner. a heart attack, yes, is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Associating with you. And that's yeah. if she can hear some of it, so there's that's also, right. she sometimes has some hearing issues. This is LCC Radio, WLNZ 89.7 here in Lansing. And I'm sure this evening, within the next half hour, we'll probably test the boundaries of those free speech issues that have been coming up in France. We'll see if we get any protests coming down the nice. basement steps here to the radio station. I'll be out of here before the <laughs> I still can door. run. Yeah. Yeah. Stephanie, you here. and your sister have both been involved, and you've been MCs to the show as well. That's sort of like herding cats, isn't it? Trying to keep all these people in line. and It's not keeping them in line. It's actually trying to showcase. And it, it's a harder job to MC than I thought originally. Is it? Yeah. It was, but it was very exciting and entertaining. My sister's going to do it for the first time this time. Oh, this is her first time as yes, the MC? Yes, as the MC. She's what tips did you give her? Drink. <laughs> Drink? <laughs> I didn't, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't give her that. If not before, after. <laughs> no, I didn't really give her any tips because I feel like she's got more of the energy to do that and kind of more of the enthusiasm. She um, is going to get to meet Kate Brindle, who's the headliner, who does this professionally. I think she happens to be doing a show near my sister's area um, tomorrow night. So she's, so she's gonna, dragging her in? She's my sister is going to go, I think, see her perform oh. and then just kind of on the side be like, OK, let's talk because she got to yeah. meet everyone at the reunion, the alumni event that we did that you taped for us in, in December. So I, I think she feels comfortable and knows the other people and, and feels connected to that. So um, and I think I don't have the historical. I've known Cindy Allwood before the Women's Center and um, was a volunteer, but 
it was actually sitting in the audience. Really? That I decided, I really did, and that was part of my um, my first time doing it, was I sat in the audience and I was kind of inspired. I was like, this is really cool, because they had, the, usually they have one new person who's never done it before. Right. And so I, I, left, I left the audience going, this could yeah. be me. No, I said, I, I can do this for 10 minutes. I would like to do this for 10 minutes. And I really, literally went home that night and told my husband, which was part of the problem, is because when you tell someone that you're going to do something, Ooh. then they hold you accountable, yeah. which was good. And then I kind of took the next year to have all kinds of experiences, including my three children, and to integrate that into my <coughs> 10 minutes. That's what we were, I was interested to hear at the reunion. There were 10 women there in the room. I yeah. came in with my video camera my, and immediately, I mean, you were all jammed in a tiny <laughs> space and I know that my deodorant failed immediately when the, you know, there were all these bodies crammed in there together. But there were so many different personalities. Christine, you were there as well talking about some of your life experiences. And it, women do a better job, I think, of sort of mining their own personal experiences when they're talking about comedy. It really is not a, a matter of telling jokes as much as it is sort of revealing character true story yeah it's not telling jokes at, well it's it's making your life funny I, I think it's <laughs> no, your life is funny exactly <laughs> it's, it's just it's telling it's the telling story. other people you it's know. just telling it's the story yeah. <laughs> yes you were telling us that you have discovered in the meanwhile since la doing the last show that you are now somewhere on the spectrum as I, I took a little test online I figured out I was somewhere on there as well absolutely yeah. spectrum of share yeah. Autism. Yeah. Yes. Autism. Yes. We got to share the yes. spectrum. I have a fixation of food storage containers and makeup currently. <laughs> makeup. Okay. Yes. I, don't know. I haven't gotten into makeup. I don't. Well, that's the thing is I didn't either, but it's recent, so you will. Oh. <laughs> It'll come. It, it, it's part of what happens. It's contagious. To you. Yes. Actually, if you sit in the room, with, I I actually started wearing makeup. <laughs> yeah. Very fixated. But on. I've always shopped in tranny stores, so oh, right. it's all good because I yeah. also have a large foot. There was a large so, discussion about foot size yes. that day for some reason. Yes. Yes. You said that you have different. I've been rocking a women's 14 since I was 12 years old. Wow. So I've come to terms with it, but it makes, I mean, I'm wearing I'm wearing a sweater dress and boots today. and Meyer doesn't quite go up that high, does nope, it? Nope. Long, tall Sally. It's my jam. Wow. <laughs> And then you were also saying that there, you know, there are some sort of drag queen places that are also not a bad. Well, yeah, that's where I have to get my shoes from. It's me and the drag queens that shop at Long Tall Sally. Yeah. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. So that is a drag queen yeah. store. So lots of stilettos, lots of stilettos, oh. but I'm not really cut out for that. That's not good in the winter. No. 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 It's not good if you have feet or ankles <laughs> that you care about. <laughs> yeah. But you have built-in snowshoes, so <laughs> yes. you don't really have to worry about right. that. Hmm. Now you've had some challenges in your life because being a politician and being a comedian are not always the overlap. There okay, isn't no, no, very... no, 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 no. It's been a magical gold mine of yeah. material. Really? is what it is. Oh, of course. Yeah, the material <laughs> is there, but getting yeah. reelected would be another issue, wouldn't it? Well, you know, the the thing is, people vote for me, knowing what they get. I they see. really do. You know, the I was at Virgil's roast. Okay. Okay. The mayor, and and he's not a fan of of a lot of things that I do, uh, <laughs> comedy, the nose ring. Um, <laughs> I feel like I'm you, left out. Of you, you, do, yeah, you want a nose you, ring? You know, two I out of three. Work with two, yes, two you, out of three the, comedians. She's she's two out of three. But wow. let me tell you, I, the first time that I performed, you were there, and you and I found out you were a politician, and I was like, ha. Yeah. Well, then this balance of like professional life slash comedian can be met, but I was it was the first time that I decided that I didn't hate all politicians. Oh, see, well, isn't that yeah. great? Yeah. That's yeah. Bringing people together. Yeah, bringing I've people had so together. many people say that to me. Like watching you do comedy was so real that I actually I would vote for you. I don't even know what like I've had people say I don't even know what you stand for, but based on what you said on stage, see, yeah. I I can relate to you. So I, I think would think you hunger. would be real, and I think they do hunger for. I, I think the people hunger for honesty. There's nothing. Mm -hmm. I mean, my comedy is honest yeah it's it's brutally honest a lot of us it's catharsis a lot of us relive tragedies in our lives mm -hmm. we relive you know essentially uh, what she's saying is that your mother doesn't like the truth yeah that's Ooh. what i'm saying <laughs> and it's very fun no i'm not i'm not saying that at all she just can't hear you when you swear she just can't handle <laughs> the she just truth can't hear is what is yeah, yeah. There were some, yeah, when you drop certain F-bombs and so forth, there's a certain portion of the audience that probably does. Mm, yep. yep. It's even better when you have a sign language interpreter. That was what I thought was so fascinating. <laughs> That's the best part. 
I gotta say, and I just got invited back to do the P flag fundraiser in Flint, so I'll be oh, doing that in April. Love it. I, I okay. So the first time I ever had a sign language interpreter was on the Capitol steps during a Pride rally, and and I had folks actually use that against me when I was was on council. They said that's not a good reflection of a politician. Well, I, you weren't my audience that day. Yeah. My audience was ten thousand LGBT folks from all over the state that came there to be empowered and hear that somebody gave a crap about them when most of their legislators did not. Right. That and was very so risky in the it, it was very risky but because to, to me if you don't vote me in again I'm gonna go hang out with my kids at the cottage which I don't get to do most often yeah. you know like it's not a career for me so I'll be there as long as I serve people's needs and when I don't serve their needs anymore vote for somebody else mm -hmm. but it's as not, you said yeah. when you have that sign language the, the person there sometimes oh, she you hadn't so thought fun. about when you're discussing she say, didn't certain ask. sexual things, we and... didn't know. We never went over the speech. <laughs> she had to make up signs for certain words. <laughs> I, you know, and you're on the radio right now, but I could actually demonstrate now. But whoever who was watching on YouTube, you might get the benefit of. The... I mean, we said some raunchy stuff that she came up with signs that I did not know were. Signs. Did she invent them on the she spot? She invented them on the spot. And then and then going back and looking at the video, she was more funny than I was at some point. I mean, <laughs> you, you know, just you do, you're fascinated. I remember when I was in graduate school, I would oftentimes just watch because there was a woman that was deaf in in our class and I would just watch the sign language interpreter because it's so incredibly beautiful, but some of the <laughs> I think it also can be very funny and very humorous. But I think there was such an enjoyment that I think even the other comedians didn't utilize them to the full capacity that Kathy had used. Yeah. And make you them an interactive. Them interactive. Yes, yes. But I think people were really kind of fascinated, and then you would note. I mean, if you're on stage, then you would kind of pay attention to what the, the sign language interpreter was doing. So I think there was a number of people that utilized that. So You've probably been blacklisted from like hearing impaired functions. No, <laughs> no, actually, no. What, what we found out is that there is an obligation when you become a licensed sign language interpreter that you have to, when hired, say everything that the person you're interpreting for says. You can't leave it out. You can't have Right. You yeah, can't. There you is no. To, there's. You? you can't filter it in any That's way. That's an ethical responsibility. It's an ethical responsibility, which I tested to the <laughs> hilt in Flint last year at the P flag fundraiser because the sign language interpreter that they found for me was the pastor of the church where the performance oh. was. Ooh. And oh, it had to go back sweet. to the kind It was so it. good. I mean, there would be things I would say that bef he would be signing and he'd do this before he would finish the signing and then he would do this again. Cross no. himself, yes. but it was But he was joking it. I mean, he wasn't Catholic, so you don't have to oh, do this because okay. that's, that's a Catholic thing. Yeah. Um, but he, he would make a joke. He made a joke at as the interpreter because he was the pastor of a, an accepting LGBT trans church. I mean, he was, he was, there were so many people in the audience that were members of his church that were of that community. He was welcoming of it. And it was, it was so much fun. Now, Christine, yeah. you mined a little bit in the religious area when you were talking about how you and your father did a Bible reading at a recent holiday. <laughs> oh, right, right, right. So I've sort of, I've taken comedy to the family. My family's very right-wing conservative Christian, which is how I developed a sense of humor. Uh, you as an ability to, to cope. Yes. Um, and so my father likes to read a lot of scripture on Christmas. Um, so this last year I introduced like gangster translation. <laughs> um, so he would read a couple of verses and then I would trans do like ghetto translation and he actually let me, I mean, I like convinced him that this was a good idea and it's the way that we could both That's how you along. reach the people. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. And what did Jesus do? Well, he was with the people. He certainly was. And so, um, yeah, for like two hours we did <laughs> ghetto Can you give us an example of, say, a verse that then well, would be translated? Well, I don't know scripture anymore because I've blocked it out, but so even like the story about like Mary and Joseph, I'd be like, what had happened was then like Joseph and his baby mama and them <laughs> took a road trip. <laughs> you know, and all of a sudden I was trying to figure out like how to make like present day shepherds well I decided they were drug dealers since so all they were all doing all that standing around right oh yeah with that frankincense and myrrh who knows what exactly that was. yeah exactly so now, he plays the along. audience for this over the holidays oh it was just my mother and father ah, <laughs> oh okay I see but it was I mean that's again comedy's not always for other people hmm. it's mostly I mean it's, it's working through your own issues mm -hmm. well it's it's usually mostly for me and we just let you participate ah. <laughs> Were you, I like are that. you invited back for next Christmas? Yes, yes. They haven't requested that specific rendition again. 
Um, but Didn't they were nice enough to play along. Did you do it for your nephew along. and niece, though? Where it wasn't part of the Bible in the in the past? Wasn't that part of? Oh, I just try to educate them about like things going on culturally. So anytime they're like, you know, they're homeschooled. They're my they're, my nieces and nephews are very sheltered. Um, Not for long with you and the family. Right, right. So I like to teach them about like things like Christopher Columbus and. Oh yes. Say yeah. things like you know he was a rapist and a murderer, right? Yeah. Um, that probably goes over real well. Well, it's usually yeah, after basically. History, unfiltered, <laughs> I'm honest. the truth. Like, yeah. I was traumatized a little bit when I went to college and found out everything I was taught was a lie written by middle-class white men. Oh, oh, I think one of the most eye-opening things in the world is Howard Zinn's history, where you go back and take a look at history through a different kind of lens and filter, and yeah. you find out what really happened in the world. Yeah. My, my father blames college for since I believe in gender equality. <laughs> <laughs> the higher education. Went over, got there, got that education, didn't you? It's really not about the education. It's because you, you went to camp. <laughs> you basically went to band camp, and that's all she wrote. Right. This is yeah. LCC Radio, WLNC. Band camp's everybody's problem. That is always. 89.7 here in Lansing, Michigan. We're talking with Christine Sayers, with Kathy Wilbur, and with Stephanie Fertcher. Kathy who? Oh, Wilbur? What happened to Wilbur? What is Wilbur? Wow, there Where was a the, Wilbur. I there remember. was a Wilbur. Oh, I, did I get it wrong? What did you I called I... me Wilbur. Oh, I'm sorry. It's essentially Where's the same Charlotte? thing. Where's Charlotte? Dunbar? Where's the web? I don't know why I did. Well, see, I was trying to protect you from your voters. So oh, <laughs> they'll just my check it off on the ballot. Yes, yes. Oh, I know a Kathy Wilbur. That's what my problem That's is. That's funny. Yes, That's what it is. I hope she's funny. She's uh, a trustee. MS, yeah, they're not ten, they don't tend to be they're a bunch of funny. yucks. No, no, they're not She might be insulted that you... Well, that'll be good. Okay. She'll have to take credit for all the stuff that you did with all the perfect. <laughs> this will be very nice. It'll be liberating. And that's one of the other things I wanted to talk about is that I do, I got a real sense in that room that a lot of the women who were not doing this for a living, who did not come out of that tradition as you did, that they really did find it strangely empowering, that it was somehow really liberating for them to be able to get up in front of a group and turn their life into an act. Did you find I, that? I guess speaking of the least experience, because I think Kathy has been on the stage many a time, and Christine, you've done a number of venues in your for shower. Your comedy. <laughs> well, I mean, remember, it's about her. It's not about the rest of us. She's been performing forever. I see. Well, I it was called kindergarten. Kindergarten. <laughs> there was five rows of five, and then ten feet back was me. Okay, that's how I started. Well, I guess I feel like I'm the least, the least experienced, or you've just got a lot of. I don't like your negative self-talk, but go ahead. <laughs> did you ever do your act anywhere other than the She Laughs? You know what? I did do it one place, and I did a really good job of bombing it, which was oh. a really great experience because um, you can learn from those things. And then I was able to come back and do She Laughs the second time with some visual aids because um, <laughs> I think having a slideshow helped. <laughs> For me to remember, you had a PowerPoint. I had a slideshow actually. Slide show. My, my dad used to do the slideshow, and one of the best laughs that that visually <laughs> for people was my eighth grade picture. Ooh. Which no, but it was we okay. We don't want to unearth any of those for no, anyone. but I put it up there because I did have the mullet ah. for two years running, and I, we acknowledge that. And you have my dad in the background going, "What's a mullet?" Because we videotaped or whatever else. But I guess. That got a lot of laughs. It and should be noted that you're wearing Crocs today, though, right? <laughs> did you have to say that? <laughs> we did. Radio? She had no idea that this was televised. I you can't see my feet right see now, feet. No. but I went home and changed out of my sweatshirt and into something. This is like, you know, like the judge wears whatever under the robe, but I knew I had to get the I robe know what off. I the judges like, wear under the robe. It's usually nothing, but that's, you know. But I had, and she walked in like, I'm like, yes, I made that mistake the first time I was on the radio. But I don't think I'm on. Oh, I think it's you. Are. you are. This, this is a wide angle. Why angle? Yeah, yeah. 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 So it also adds ten that's or twenty she... pounds. So that's oh, yeah. all. Yeah. Yeah. See, I'm, okay. I'm centered, so the stretch yes. is happening on the exactly. sides. Exactly. That's. Oh. I had no knowledge. <laughs> I think I'm going to radio. I didn't have that concept. Yeah. That's okay. And I... she hid over that way, and she thought she was getting off camera. I did. I would have reapplied my makeup. I'm just saying. And my biggest gift for this Christmas was food storage containers. And who did I think of? I thought of you. I got the like, snap ones, the ones that have the snap so hard. It's They're all about the, the rubber because they click together and they have red tops and I just like the way that whatever. I have a lot of rubber made. Don't see now I just bought some for the first time in my life. And I, the first time. Yes, yes. What have I you been doing with your leftovers? Paper bags. <laughs> yes. I mean I just really we eat everything. We're just sort of pigs at our house. There's very little <laughs> leftovers. Wow. Either that or it gets composted, you see, so that's what we do. But yes, I did buy them. Maybe that's what it was. It was sort of subliminal mm. advertising and I now have those little things. You need to things. get it. 
You need to get a cut on that. You need exactly. To, yeah. We need to send this to the Rubbermaid company, the Ziploc, whoever. Name every different food store. I've got it all, girl. Okay, good. <laughs> Just start listing them off. We can like start making some money off. Right. This. Mm. Okay, and now I'm trying now. So this is all on the. You can it's see on the video. Let it go. Yeah, girl. she didn't. Know. Let it go. Okay, you, let it out. Right. Every place the, I go, the video the, camera. You, the video camera. Yeah. So I. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. well, I was texting earlier, which is disruptive and rude to do well, it. Well, you were on the air here. Uh huh. Oh, I was <laughs> like, I was playing Candy Crush back there. Okay, but that was back there. That was Up front, you were present. I was checking about the sign language interpreter with Cindy. So oh. do you have that? Because I know she, Kathy has her own internship program with um, the sign language people. So I How hope you've got dirty someone. Or what is it yeah, well, I have, have to. Someone? I have to warn them. I think we have somebody. I thought I, she had said that we did. I ah. think you were in charge of that, according to the. And so if that's the case, I think you asked. We will. And she said we will now. Okay. So by it already being arranged, I don't maybe think maybe someone okay. is hearing this right now and saying, "I would like to sign for this." I'm show. dying. Yeah, to actually, sign. actually, if you are a professional yeah. signer. You'll know what this means, <laughs> and that's the kind of thing you're going to need to know <laughs> to do this show. Is that a caterpillar trans? crawling? No, oh, no. Okay. <laughs> but it does look like it looks like a jellyfish on a hot dog. <laughs> that's not what it is. So anybody that's seen me perform that has heard me say the sign that looks like a jellyfish on a hot dog, you're a jellyfish no, on a hot dog. I, sometimes I am. <laughs> sometimes I am. The boyfriend's out in the hallway. He can attest to that. But I'm not going to translate this right now. But if you know what that means, you're the one to sign for us. Now, so, have you ever revealed something about your personal life you wished later you hadn't? That's every show. Every show. <laughs> yeah, right. you no, it's never name. my life. It's the people around me's oh, lives ouch. that you reveal. But That's see, my kids fiction. know. Yeah. My kids know because they're like, every time they do something hilarious, <gasps> uh. I used to write it down. Now I just write it in my notes on my phone or I just like turn on the speaker and, or, and like record them, like the <gasps> microphone. Ooh. Oh, I recorded amazing things. And then my kids will say, is that going to be in the show? Like, mm. yeah, it is going to be in the show. So this year, Emma's in the show. Ava was in the show for a significant chunk last year and she was actually there at the show and got to see it. So that was a pretty fun play when she crawled out from under the chair. And, um... Yeah. So See, every good. time my mother speaks to me, she's like, no, don't go putting that in your comedy. And I just keep telling her, like, you're not that funny. <laughs> <laughs> you're not. I don't even find you that funny, oh. let alone to share with you with the masses. Yeah. It's just mm. not, Mom. Mm. Uh, that, but the, does she ever try to tell you jokes? Yes. Yeah. See, that's Oh, not... tell you to give you a joke that she thinks Material. you Material. Yeah. Material. Material. You can use this. You, can, you don't even have to give me credit. Don't worry, I won't. Because <laughs> right. I promise you I'll never repeat again because it wasn't funny when you yeah. said it. See, this, this is me not laughing. Right. Who's going to be on the lineup this Friday night? Do oh, we it's know? a great show. I, well, I I can speak. My sister's the MC, Julie mm -hmm. Herchert. Then we've got Kathy. Okay. Wilmore. Wilbur. 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 Kathy Wilbur, Wilbur will, will be there. Will sue me a because I got the name. No, no, I won't. No, no. but the Kathy. Oh, that one. <laughs> we don't care about that. We don't. Care. Brent, Brenda Nelson. Brenda who Nelson. Is, she's done it a couple of different times. Okay. She's wonderful. And Emily, Emily Devendorf. Emily Devendorf. She volunteered. Actually, we're doing something together. Are you doing something together? Yeah, we're Skyping it out. Oh, oh, okay. She's out of town right now, so we're Skyping it. I think we're going to do our dating stories because we were both online dating this year. Aye. Ouch. So there's some, some great, great ones. online dating oh, there's material. Oh, so good. So we might yeah. talk with you too. I've got to find out more stuff. about that. I have a friend who informed me. I was going to, I'm glad you said I have a friend because he's sitting right here. <laughs> like, oh, I got to find one. more about like online dating because yeah. what? My. <laughs> This friend of mine, she has four different personalities, and she's trying to figure out which one attracts the kind of man that she really wants to be with. Is that? Wow. And you know, I'm not creative, and I could barely. I, I'm sure I couldn't come up with one. I don't know how she could come up with four. See, I'm too late. Kind of I'm too lazy though, because I'll, I'll, I'm I'm fine with securing dates. It's leaving my house and having to do my hair and change out of sweatpants <laughs> that I'm not so comfortable with. I'm like, mm. and you don't want to invite him over. Oh no, Ooh, never. You never. Yeah, you no. can't do that. But so I'm like, eh, I don't know. Ted Bundy cool. looked like such a nice guy. Although you don't seem cool enough for me to dry my hair. Oh. <laughs> you know, <laughs> even wowed me that much. Oh, yeah. I always make sure I show up without makeup because I figure at that point, if you can't deal with me like that, oh, that's, that's interesting. That's yeah. a good strategy. Start with yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, you don't. I mean, once it wipes off on the pillow, yeah. and you leave them with the shroud of turn, which is really just my <laughs> like made up clown face on yeah. the pillow, you're gonna get this anyway. Well, yeah. then I should start wearing sweatpants and no bra because that's I essentially just what I do. I just <laughs> basically <laughs> left the message that there's a pillow involved when I go on dates, so I probably don't. <laughs> Eventually, but I, no. I think you want to kind of start with low expectations. I mean, we often joke, but my husband said apathy is not a beauty strategy, but it's worked for me. <laughs> because You're if lovely. you don't do it, I do. 
and you guys were talking about, I didn't know this was video, but I don't wear makeup anyway. Oh. But I might have, like, I don't know, straightened my hair, done something more, maybe taken off my... Um, your mom's sweatshirt? <laughs> no, this is... <laughs> that is <laughs> oh, she's got, like, an upscale I, hoodie. I was sitting over here like, John's over here, like, that's a nice quality hoodie she's wearing. I was admiring the hoodie, too. Thank you, this is the hoodie, but you know what's embarrassing about this hoodie? Is my sister got this for me. My sister, who I get her leftover hand-me-downs, which she's four years younger. Because she's stunning. She's got great fashion sense. No kidding. Does she not have children? She does not. That's people uh, who without children have money. Yes. She, well, she's got <laughs> money and style, and and, they don't and have I am extremely toes, grateful like to be at the end of her like giving things. So I usually get oh, yeah. it. So she got this for me because what I've been wearing running is absolutely ridiculous and hideous. It's from Central Michigan sweatshirt or something. 1989. It's the Elma College basketball. I've Ooh. seen the sweatshirt. Yes, because I wore it on one of my shows. You did. Yeah. Well, I wore the sweatshirt, but it's the thing over the sweatshirt. It's for my basketball thing that I wore in 1989. It makes me feel a little bit younger, and it's got a little pouch, a little kangaroo pouch in the front, so I can put the old Walkman. Walkman. Oh, you are not walking a Walkman. 1989 Walkman. Yeah. So but it she would hold a cell phone. Okay, it well, could hold a cell phone. So she wanted me to wear this. We're trying to upgrade me, and I am slowly resisting, but I'll wear it like every day. That is not her intention. She thought this would be a nice thing to jog in. The reason I say, I mean, people without, people without kids have money, because I, my friend was taking some clothes at the thrift store, my coworker. so I said, oh, which, you know, what size do you got in there? It was sizes that my sister and my sister-in-law would wear. My sister's got four kids, my sister-in-law's got three kids. And I showed up with these clothes, and they were like, who's your rich friend that's getting rid of all these clothes? <laughs> was like what do you mean rich friend they're like where does she get all this night it's got like it's from like express and stuff i'm like yes. this is what professional women do yes. who don't have four children uh. is they buy new clothes yeah. and but no, it's like I they just, won the lottery every time i see them like see what i'm wearing i'm like no because i didn't look through the back there speaking of clothes so what do you plan to wear to this event do you plan in advance or you just show up i wear crocs, my elma college crocs, uh, crocs and my elma college and, sweatshirt mm, is what i usually wear the very first show i did for the women's center i was in an msu sweatshirt and a tie-dye skirt and birkenstocks on a bar stool, and it was recorded. Chewing granola. Chewing granola. <laughs> and sipping and wheatgrass. And hugging a tree, eating tree bark and grass clipping. And screaming, I love lesbians. I, I do. I so <laughs> I do. do. Too. Okay, okay. I do, I love, too. I love all of them. Everyone. <laughs> right. Everyone. Okay, so, um, yeah, we just go cash. Do you yeah. like what I did there? Just like cash. No strapless evening gowns. Not that kind oh, of Lord. vibe. Oh, no. Lord. I sold. Do we I have prom. anything that could hold these up? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, because prom because prom I'm currently prom. fixing it on tights. I might wear I sold my prom dress. I because she still it. fits in her prom no, dress. No, I, I, when did you sell it? I sold it at the Women's Center because there's oh. a silent auction. Oh, oh that's right. the okay. other thing is there's a silent auction as well at the Women's Center. So if you buy your ticket, they're $25. We're not allowed to say that, but I'm glad you did. Oh, you're not? <laughs> no, no, no. Mm -hmm. Yes, there are all sorts of rules when you're on a public radio station. Oh, oh, okay. We can't exhort a call to action, so I can't say that people should go down there on Friday. You're night. probably going to get arrested when you leave yeah. here. Then I, I probably I, won't say I that they should wear the pens, too. I didn't but know then all there's, the <laughs> there's that pesky little free speech that we were talking there. about or on the weekend there. that I think, you okay. know, I mean. So can we just... But mention, we can talk about we can the event. mention the, the event. Can we mention that there's a silent auction? Oh, yes. we can say that. Yeah. Okay. And there we will be some creative items, buy. including leftover prom dresses. Well, that was sold two years ago. So oh. the people that bought it, if unless they're bringing it back to be reused, I had. Will Julie the, uh, be donating? Could there be a hoodie in this somewhere? Maybe? Not that one. I don't think. <gasps> you know what? There. There, I think my sister. I suggested the that perhaps Martin there's there's some unattractive <laughs> sweatshirts that that perhaps my mother kept with like a cardinal on it. Um, oh. That my mom put on Facebook that my sister was wearing, and my sister was like, "How is your mother going to be offended by comedy if she's on Facebook? Everything's offensive on Facebook." We're not friends on Facebook. You should be. No. Nope. Because yeah. what, you're so wildly inappropriate with your PG sense of humor? I Ooh, think there's a lot of reasons why that we can discuss later in a different <laughs> <laughs> you're not Does your crazy. mother live anywhere within the, like... She lives in Heartland, Michigan. Okay, so she's not going to hear this. She's not going to hear this. The radius okay. goes about out to Mesa. So okay. you can tell yeah, us the secret. Connections. What, yeah. what was the cardinal for? Is that I'm assuming... No, I'm uh, saying there's, a, there's an old... My sister literally was cold in the basement doing puzzles with my dad. My mom took a picture and posted it on Facebook, and my sister was like, what are you doing? Why are you sending? But my mom was able to get my sister because she really... Anyway. I think this is like, this is this would be a horrible bad. TV show. This is like middle-class white drama. <laughs> yeah, it really 
sweatshirt. He's a cardinal on the sweatshirt, man. I mean, a cardinal. I want to know. What I want to know is what was the playlist on the tape in your Walkman? Ooh, oh, that's like a whole nother. This stuff, oh, like, because you know it was like a mixtape. You know, it wasn't yeah. like it wasn't just Journey classic. It's, it's just it was, recently. I hope it was like TLC's recently. Push It. <laughs> Some old Beastie Boys. I have the tiger, perhaps. You got to run along, maybe. I, for I, your I, right I, to party. <laughs> you guys are like just going down town. I know. Well, we're singing. We're I, singing I, on Friday. We forgot to mention that. Oh, yeah? What do we? There what? might be. Yeah. Singing? There might be <laughs> something going on. Was I not supposed to mention that? I, I think just it's got absolutely it. fine. Okay. There might be some entertaining vocal performances from and the alumni with and audience some, participation. And some absolutely. choreographed stuff by your because your sister's very into physical humor. Oh. She's a very she's very big into the dancing. So there might be some of that. I'm just gonna say we got pretty good voices. That was nice. We might have to go to Kyoto. I, I probably I should high. before because we're very close to running out of time. And I did want to mention that coming up, uh, the Women's Center does do marvelous work in the community. I mean, one of the reasons that it is going to be held as a fundraiser is because of all the wonderful things that it does with giving women skills and counseling and all sorts of other services. We're very fortunate to have that in the community. And thank you so much to the three of you for being here to tell us about that. That's Friday night at Rio Town. You can go to the Women's Center of Greater Lansing online and that'll give you information about how to find tickets and so forth and uh, be able to join everybody at the performance on Friday night. And then don't forget to tune in next Monday night again for Lansing Online News Radio with Bonnie and Bill. This is LCC Radio, WLNZ 89.7 year in Lansing. And come back next Monday night at 7 o'clock. We're going to be having some interesting things for you to learn about in the community. And we will see you then if you don't freeze in the meanwhile. <laughs> and we will see you Friday night down at the Women's Center event in Rio Town. Thank you. Thank you. Yay. <laughs>